Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm just going to give you a simple demonstration on how to attach a swipe view to your list views. So you can see here I have a list view and I just have my name added over and over and over into it. Obviously, that's not what it would be like in a real scenario, but I just wanted to create an easy demo for you to see. So if you click on uh, one of these items and I just swipe to the left, you can see it opens up another menu where I can click on two different options. When I click on these options, it doesn't actually execute anything because I haven't attached any other code to it. But you can see that when I click on them, it closes the menu. And if we go into Android Studio, I actually just log the fact that I clicked on the particular item. So that's item, oops, that would be item one. And then the edit button would be item zero. You can add as many as you want to it. Like I, I have two here, but I can keep adding more and more items if you want more. So we'll start by creating a new project. I just called mine swipe menu list view. And the first thing we'll do is head over to this GitHub page and we're gonna grab the swipe view library dependencies. So just, um, I guess type swipe, swipe menu list, swipe menu list view in Google. And you can see that this GitHub page right here comes up. And we can go down, grab the dependency, just copy that, go back to Android Studio, Go into your build.gradle app folder and paste the dependency down here. So swipe menu list view. And then just hit sync. Once it's done syncing, we will go into activity main and let's just create a swipe menu list view. Do match parent, match parent, and give it an ID of list view. We can close activity main after that. Let's go back to main activity and we'll create a log up top and go into on create and create the oops create the swipe menu list view so I'll just call it list view equals swipe menu list view find the id r id dot list view now we need to create an array list to add some items to our list i'm of course just going to add my name over and over again so it's really uh, very easy but obviously you'd have you know whatever you want in here so i'm just going to go list dot add mitch and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it a bunch of times. Sure, there we go. Now I'm going to create an array adapter just like we would normally do. And do main activity about this and then Android. I'm just going to use a default Android layout. So to Android simple list view item one and then pass the list and then I can do uh, what is it? list view set adapter set the adapter okay so so far we've done nothing new just plain old uh, creating a list adding it to a list view with an array adapter nothing special now we can go back to the github page and we can actually see how to implement his swipe view so you can see he creates the list view here and then here he creates this swipe menu creator so I'm going to just follow the instructions here. I'm going to copy, copy all that. Go back to my project and paste it in. And then import everything that I need here. And this is DP. I'm just going to change this to 170. 70. This is just going to be the width of the swipe menu itself. And then we can change the colors. If you don't know how to change colors, we can just go to a uh, hex color chart and let's look up some colors. I'll make it small here. So we can just choose some random colors. I think in my demo I had like like a blue. So I don't know, let's just grab one of these blues. Sure, so 0066FF. So let's change this to 0066FF. And we can set the title to open, that's fine, whatever. And then in the other one, we're gonna, I guess I'll leave the color, so that's fine. And let's actually uh, just import an icon for it. So we'll go to the res, go to drawable, new image asset, go to action bar tab icons, and let's, Im I just click that uh, little button right there. And let's grab something. In my demo, I had a phone, so let's grab the phone. And I'm gonna call it IC phone, hit enter and finish. And then I can go here, I can change this to IC phone, and now we have a custom icon. Okay, so let's go back to the GitHub page and check out what we gotta do next. Looks like we do uh, set menu creator. So let's grab that down here. So that's cool, now it sets the creator to the list view. Uh, and back to the GitHub page once more. 
now we can set an on menu item click listener. So we'll just copy that once again, paste that in, import the library, and make sure you grab this one the um, from the dependency that we imported, not one of the default Android ones. So grab that, and then we can put in uh, whatever we want, the actions that we want to take when we click on the items. So I'm just gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna log the click. So clicked item and type in the index, and then copy that. Same thing here. And that's it. Of course, you could execute anything here. Like you could use an intent to navigate to a different activity, or maybe you want to start a phone call, or you know whatever you want. Navigating to a fragment could be literally anything. So I'm just going to log the click for simplicity and just show you it working. So let's run it and take a look. All right, so we got our list view. Let's click on an item. So you can see we have our two options. It's going to be a little different than in my demo, obviously, because I uh, changed things a little bit more in my demo. I had like this button was green, I think, and this one was blue, or I can't remember. But either way, same sort of thing. You can customize them however you want. So let's click on that one. It says we clicked on item zero. Let's click on the other one, clicked on item one. So there we go. Everything is working just as it's supposed to be. Don't forget to leave a like. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new videos are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.